All right, so some of you have been having issues where you're booting up RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi 5 and you're crashing or it doesn't work at all. Sometimes all you get is a black screen or there'll be some text at the top saying that there's something wrong uh, with the font configuration. Uh, I've seen this code plenty of times before and there's also a few other issues. So uh, typically when we build a lot of these images, make these builds or test it on 1080p monitors and so forth. But because there's so many different TV resolutions and different models out there, it's really impossible to kind of test this uh, all in one setting before it goes out. But in many cases, we can't really take account for all the TVs that are out there. And so uh, one of my subscribers recently asked me, he's like, Keo, I'm having an issue, RetroPie works or it boots. However, it's not working on my big screen TV. And I believe the gentleman is using a 75 inch uh, brand uh, TV. I'm not sure which particular model he's using, but he's using a 75 inch TV and I'm not sure the specific Hertz of that monitor. However, there is a fix for it. And I do believe this issue has also happened on the Raspberry Pi 4 and the 3B plus. This also may apply to Recal Box and Batisera as well, but I'm going to show you quickly how to fix that here in RetroPie. So we have a few options here. You want to go into your options menu and you'll notice something called visual tools. And within the visual tools, uh, we have something called Raspberry Video Output. You guys may be familiar with this. This is also known as the Arcade One Up Ready script. And you can see here, uh, you want to disable uh, your ratios or you could turn over scan on or off. Now to fully set this up, you will need to use an additional monitor. Like let's say set this up first on your 1080p and then plug it into whatever TV uh, this works in. Again, I've had issues even in the past where I use a different LCD screen t uh, TV, even on my Atari image. Uh, I had everything working on my gaming monitors. It worked fine on my 65 inch uh, 4K Samsungs and my 1080p Samsung. Took it to my parents' house. They had a different brand model. I think it was like 27 inch, whatever. Plugged it in and it didn't work. And I couldn't fix it at that time. In fact, if you guys remember that video, uh, that's back when I got the Atari Fight Stick from Micro Center. But we typically will occasionally will run into those because, you know, if you plan on using your Raspberry Pi on different TVs, you possibly will run into this and it's kind of impossible to account for it unless you plug it in directly to that device. Uh, that device. But this should fix that issue that allows you to turn it off. You have uh, different options here. Set video ratio to 480p, 1080p, 1080p is, uh, is enabled. And then of course set video uh, ratio mode to 4K. So uh, this option here should work. Now by default, uh, the Supreme image you're using should have it disabled, but you wanna make sure you enabled it and then also turn on the overscan and whatnot. But anyway, that's quickly to get you guys up and running in case you are running into that additional issue. So like and subscribe. I will catch you guys later. I hope you found this video helpful and I will catch you soon. Later, bye-bye.